Kate Cox will terminate her pregnancy, but not in Texas. Last week, the mother of two sued the state for an emergency abortion. Her baby has a fatal condition. Her doctors say threatens her health and future fertility. Thursday, a lower court judge ruled she could have the abortion, qualifying for the medical exemption under the state's abortion ban. I am going to grant the temporary restraining order. But after threatening anyone who helped Cox with prosecution, Attorney General Ken Paxton petitioned the state Supreme Court, which said it would decide if Cox was protected to have the procedure. Today, her attorneys announced Cox would leave Texas, said at 20 weeks pregnant and after several visits to the ER, she could not wait any longer for the high court's justices to make a decision. It's a very long amount of time for a pregnant person in the middle of a health emergency. But just a few hours later, they did. Tonight, the Supreme Court blocked the lower court's ruling that would have protected Cox, her doctor, and husband had she had the abortion in Texas. There is still a lot of gray area. Seema Moapatra is an attorney who reviewed the justice's opinion, pointed to the fact they first wrote Miss Cox's doctor could not, or at least did not attest to the court, that Miss Cox's condition poses the risks the state's abortion ban exception requires. But they also wrote, the state leaves to physicians, not judges, both the discretion and the responsibility to exercise their reasonable medical judgment. At the same time that they use that language, they are basically disregarding a physician's point of view that her patient needs this care. I don't think they're, after reading this, any physician or hospital counsel is going to be any more comfortable with going forward. In a separate, ongoing, high-profile abortion lawsuit, 20 women and two physicians are asking the high court to clarify what qualifies as a medical exemption for an abortion in Texas. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Perkins.